welcome back to Minecraft Feed the Beast LP with uh, underscore. Um, I've been messing around with some Thorncraft stuff, so I thought I'd catch you up a little bit on uh, what's been going on. Um, I did do some research in the background, and um, I finally got to the point where I can make some things. Um, so I thought I would give you an update on... Uh, this little device, um, I got up to Unified Thomic Theory, and I got these uh, magical building blocks, and with those we can make, uh, what do they call this, Inf an infusion altar, and um, what this will do is it will use, um, the essences that we get from the cauldron here in order to build some of the higher tier Thorncraft items. And the way I did that um, was to just make these uh, arcane blocks, or these magical building blocks, in the arcane work table, and then just with the wand in there I can pull out eight of these. If you put these in a, like, just four on, you know, four by one configuration and then hit them with the wand, they become this arcane work table, which works as a crafting table. Or you can put the wand in there and do um, some of the arcane items with it. But uh, at this point, I can upgrade my wand to the next level one, so I thought I would do that as well. Uh, I need some gold in order to do that, unfortunately, and I don't have any here with me. As you can see out here, I finally put the glass in this section. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the roof right now, so I did put start to put a glass wall up there. I'll probably put a glass ceiling of some kind over top of the whole thing. Um, uh, let's just take a few of these over. And I put a door over on this side, so that little issue we were having with the skeletons coming in from this walkway um, is going to go away. Um, but to make the higher tier wand, I'm just going to go ahead and make another one of the regular wands, which means I need some gold nuggets, some kind of shard, um, and I believe, yeah, okay, it'll stay in there. I need the viz from this one to make this one, so I do need a second one in order to make that no matter what. And then I need all four of these kinds of shard. I believe the only one I don't need is uh, this viz one, which is just a magic one. But I'm not sure which configuration they needed to go in, so I'm gonna have to look that up again. Air, fire, earth, water, okay. Air, fire, earth, water. And then I need to throw 16 magic in. And that's unfortunate, because that will require me to have, um... 16 of these chiseled sandstone blocks. I only have two. The alternative would be to throw a bunch of viz shards at it. Three, three should do the trick. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, just in the interest of not doing tedious things. Okay, so now I have the Wand of the Adept, which holds more viz. Um, which is necessary for crafting some of the higher tier Thorncraft items. So currently I'm researching this thing called a uh, portable hole, which requires this alienus um, essence. So the only place I know where to get that is uh, from Ender Pearls right now. And since I haven't gone to the end in this world, um, i pretty much limited to getting that from um, Enderman. 
So I've kind of been running around trying to kill Endermen in order to get Ender Pearls to do that research. Uh, as you can see, we have a little Wisp here trying to kill us. Um, that is the result of the flux increases that we have created recently. <laughs> That's funny that they're stuck in the apiaries. <clears throat> I'm not sure that they know how to handle Beldcraft pipes. That's probably why they get stuck over there. If I fly, I think I can... Nope, I uh, climbed up on top of the pipes. And he's back there again. bow in one of my other LP worlds, so I'm kind of used to that. Oh, you're kidding me, but neither of them dropped the Ender Pearl. That's annoying. You need to go away. The Wisp shows up rather nicely on the map there. I know you're under there. Oh, you moved. Well, we can get some nice XP, if nothing else. So, I don't really do a lot of Thawncraft research on the multiplayer servers because... Oh, wait, there is an Ender Pro. Perfect. Um, since I've been playing on the multiplayer server, they've had various issues with their hosting provider. And uh, what ends up happening is they reset the map. And when they reset the map, they also, not necessarily, but frequently, they reset the uh, profile files. And um, as a result of that, you end up with your Thonecraft research getting lost. So, uh, I've been pretty much trying to just do my research. What am I missing? Oh, exchange. I need some seeds. Do I have any? Oh, a perfect idea. I thought I had everything else fully researched. But, um, since the maps get reset and I don't really want to lose all my research all the time, I just do most of the Thonecraft stuff in this world, and that way I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get the Boots of the Traveler. Uh, I really like those in the other... Thonecraft world that I played in. Um, so I would like to get them here as well. Right now I just have these nano suit boots. I'm looking for string. There's some. Uh, as they're made out of that uh, magical fabric, if I keep researching string, they should eventually give me the research for these boots of the traveler. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, I got something else. What is it? Thomium scoop. Okay, this is a more durable scoop for the bees. So. Is it maybe that one? So I'm going to do some more research. And maybe I can get to the point where I can uh, find some additional items. Okay, so I finally got my research completed for Boots of the Traveler. Um, it's just the air shard, the enchanted fabric, and the leather, but it does take quite a few, a few of these uh, essence items down here. Um, FYI, if you are looking to get Boots of the Traveler, the uh, new um, B additions to the research tree for Thomecraft make it, let's see, where are the bees? Over here. 
this stuff with the frames and the bees and stuff make it almost impossible to get the boots of the traveler from the f fabric item, uh, which used to work in Thumbcraft uh, prior to the bees. So uh, you want to research armor in order to try and get these to come up. Um, I used a bunch of boots in order to get that to happen. So I have all of the fun stuff in my infusion altar, except for the last item, which is 24 of these motion uh, essence items. And I can get those with trapdoors, which I have 24 of. I'm not sure what I just threw in there. I think I threw my sword in. So there's our boots of the traveler. Finally. And I'm missing a sword. That's annoying. But anyway. Um, so I have these equipped now, and one of the things you'll notice is that my movement speed is much faster. Um, the other thing that these will do is they will take you up one high blocks automatically. So going up and down these types of hills is a lot easier. You don't have to jump. Um, so that's convenience. And um, I do plan on enchanting them. I don't know if I can enchant them yet. I don't know if this is an item that needs to be enchanted with the anvil. Um, so let me just check on that real quick. Hello. Yeah, it's a little difficult sometimes. Oh, and I can enchant them directly, so that's nice. Let's see if I can put 16 levels in. And I get haste, so my movement speed is even faster now. So very nice, I'm very happy with that. Uh, fine day's work, I guess. So that should about do it for this episode. Uh, it's finally a Thumbcraft oriented episode for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.